All right. So for our hint today for the unboxing, the name of this shoe happens to be a chemical element that is silvery, soft, and it is an alkaline earth metal. Good enough hint for you guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Marissa Hill. This is Shea TV. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed it, as well as feel free to leave me comments as I do enjoy hearing from all of you. And don't forget to hit that notification button just to alert yourselves of when I will be posting a new video. So today we are gonna be doing an unboxing on the Yeezy Quantum Bariums. So yes, if you guessed barium was the chemical element I was talking about, you were right. You get a thousand points if this was a video game or something. You'd be high scoring right now. So as I've said to all of my viewers who are consistent with my channel, my videos can be a bit long. So I do have a chapter selection down below in the description as well as underneath the video. So you can scroll through to see all of the chapters that I will be going through in this entirety. And so we will be starting off as usual with the unboxing portion. I'm also going to discuss in that section the difference between the lifestyle and the basketball style version of this specific silhouette. Then we're going to be going into sizing, followed by styling, and then I'm actually going to do something different today. Not doing so much of a history section, but as we all know, Gap has made a big deal with Kanye West on a new clothing line. They will be partnering with Kanye and his Yeezy brand. So I'm gonna go through and talk about some details on that. And then we are going to be following that up with the resale. So let's hop into this. Today, we are going through, once again, the Yeezy Quantum Varium. Varium. Wow, Varium, Varium. It's been a long day today, guys. I can't wait for you to see the styling section because I actually played basketball for you so you can see how these shoes move. So stay tuned for that portion of the video. But until then, we are gonna go through this shoe. Whew, this is a shoe that a lot of people have been anticipating. And of course, it has been delayed, which is a bit frustrating, but we do know that back in February, which seems like forever ago during All-Star Weekend, the, this specific silhouette was being handed out for free as long as you traded in the pair of shoes that were on your feet and it was out of these little tanker trucks that looked really cool in Kanye West's hometown of Chicago during All-Star Weekend. And so we have definitely gotten a glimpse of this silhouette and this is just a dope new colorway. And I'm excited to go through this. I'm gonna start here with the toe box. The thing I notice about this toe box is it reminds me of my Vanta and my Alba sil silhouette. So I'm gonna actually bring those out because I do want to show you that there are quite a bit of similarities here in that toe box. It's like this kind of horseshoe U. So we've definitely kind of kept that same toe box design there, which is interesting, but this is definitely a bit wider as well than both of these silhouettes as I've noticed. And then like the Vantas, we've got the nice leather suede here on the toe box with this neoprene sock liner here. It looks pretty tight and fitted. So this is definitely a great basketball shoe because it is going to hold your feet in place. We've got some nice black laces going on here. We have this nice grippy rubber gum outsole, and it's kind of like a creamish color on the very bottom. And then our midsole is almost like a 
semi-transparent midsole. So we've got this kind of a white bottom portion of the midsole and the top you can actually see through into this darker shade, which kind of when it hits the light gives almost an olive -y tone and can actually it looks lighter at the top as well so that's definitely that 3m reflective that we're seeing throughout here and this is actually interesting so this is a tpu cage and so the difference between the lifestyle versus the basketball the basketball version has the tpu caging system that's on the lateral and medial side of the shoe and so basically it's just structural differences that we're going to see in the basketball version which this is the basketball version versus the lifestyle version so of course tpu shell makes sense because this is basically covering all of this prime net that we see under here that kind of olive green prime net weave and there's also some additional padding that we're gonna see here in the collar as well. Definitely a lot of padding in the back here. I can feel how squishy it is. And that's just good for ankle support. And they've also slimmed down and created a more snug fit on the basketball. And that's basically to help with having extra stability. And so more or less, the lifestyle and the basketball version have the same prime knit. Uh, the only other difference is that in the lifestyle, it's a little bit more relaxed at the ankle. So you're not going to have as tight of a fit as well as the tongue is a lot more relaxed as well. And that's just so that it's an easier shoe to wear on a day-to-day -day basis versus a basketball shoe, which obviously you're going to be acting athletic in it, as I hope. <laughs> That's right, elbow me. Oh, 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 oh. Go strong. Oh. <laughs> All right, and so of course, this shoe as well has our beloved boost. I love a good boost system. It's all the way throughout the shoe. And so that is definitely for some good comfort when you're running up and down that court. And then on the back here, we have like this kind of silvery color and a darker charcoal silvery color. Let's see if we can kind of match those up to give you a look at what those look like. Pretty nice together. It's got a nice shimmer to it. Let's look at the bottom. We can see the boost coming through at the bottom. This has definitely got a lot of good grip to it. So you're not going to be sliding around in the gym because as I know, the worst thing that can happen to you is slipping around all over the gym floor and falling. Not so comfortable. All right. So now that we've kind of gone through the shoe, I, I think I'm ready. Actually, let's let's look one more. I forgot the uh, insole here. Skipping ahead of things here. We have just the Yeezy logo on the inside and the Adidas. And it looks like that is in a silvery color. Yeah. So that is for the unboxing portion. Now I'm actually gonna just jump into some shade real quick. I don't know what it is that drives me so crazy about somebody who is giving critique about a basketball shoe when, for instance, they actually just don't play basketball or they've never played basketball, they've never actually been on the court, or they just talk about how they don't play basketball. Then why are you giving a review on a basketball shoe? It is very, very important to understand the movements and the versatility that you're going to go through depending on each sport. Yes, I played volleyball, but I've also played basketball. So I definitely know the differences in between the movements and you can really mess up your feet if you don't know what are good options of shoes that you should be looking into to pay for and invest in for your game. Cause I mean, it really will make 
a huge difference and it's different for everybody. So it's very important to really find a good silhouette that works for you. So for those of you out there who know nothing about the sport of basketball, as far as like putting your feet in it, playing the game, get out there and start being athletic <laughs> in an athletic basketball shoe. I feel bad because honestly, in my previous videos, I haven't showed any of my athletic abilities, but guess what? In my styling portion, you guys are going to get a hint of me as an athlete. So this will be the first video where we do that, but I'm definitely going to continue that on for specific shoes that are meant for specific places like basketball, like the sport of basketball. I mean, if I'm going to get a volleyball shoe, I'm probably going to be playing volleyball in that shoe for you guys. So that is for the shade today. Let's move on to the sizing for the shoe. This is definitely a shoe. I'm going to actually pull these up so you can kind of just look at them but we'll probably get a closer up view. I definitely usually go half the size up in my Yeezy silhouettes, but this shoe, when I was playing in it, my foot was definitely sliding back and forth. And when you're running up and down the court in basketball, the last thing you want is to have extra room in your shoe because you will get blisters and blisters are one of the biggest negatives in playing a sport because they're very irritating and every time your foot hits that blister it agitates you and so i definitely would recommend probably sticking to just true to size so i would say for this which i went in size eight i would go back down to my normal size which is a 7.5 uh, and also these shoes are a bit wider, so there's definitely a lot of extra room on each side of my foot when I'm using athletic shoes for either volleyball or basketball. I definitely want my foot locked in because I don't want to one sprain an ankle. There's nothing worse than spraining an ankle because it puts you out of the game. You have to rehab that. And it's such an annoying in injury that you want to be able to prevent from happening. And so I think it's very important that you get the right fit in a shoe such as a basketball shoe. These shoes did release in family sizing. And so that's great. So if you want to get this for your youngins and match, this is a great option for you to be able to do that. But other than that, I would say stick true to your size in this. And that's just based off of the fact that I felt like I had a lot of extra room in this specific shoe and my foot was sliding back and forth. And so again, it's a basketball shoe. Don't want to hurt yourself. Probably should make sure that your foot is locked into that. All right. So now that we've done the sizing, I kind of want to move into our styling section, which is pretty exciting because in the styling section, I actually played a little bit of ball, but unfortunately guys, I'm not going to lie to you in New York. I don't know why, but every basketball court is missing the hoop. All right. They took down all of the hoops. And so it's basically a backboard. And unfortunately, I'd like to show you obviously my outfits with me making a couple shots. So you're just gonna have to imagine that basketball hoop being there and me actually like making the shots. But unfortunately, I don't know when they're gonna put those back up. So until then, I'm, I'm honestly not gonna be able to show you guys me shooting and show you some of my skills that uh, hopefully I still have. <laughs> but anyways, let's get into the first look that I wore today. Definitely an athletic shoe. So I wanted to give you guys lots of athletic options. And oh my God, was it hot today. So the first option I wore uh, was some Adidas biker shorts. And I basically paired that with an athletic gray tank top. And I think that this shoe, obviously, if you're getting it to play basketball in, you're gonna be wearing basketball clothes. I wore a bit tighter clothes than what I would usually wear when playing basketball, uh, but definitely just a nice, comfortable option. And I think that this is just a great colorway that's going to go with a lot of clothing options, of course black as you guys know i love my black i only work in black and sometimes very very dark gray 
<laughs> so this shoe is definitely going to go with an all black option, uh, but it also has, you know, hints of kind of grays and these olive tones that are coming through, which I think are going to just work with any type of coloring option. And then let's get into the look number two. I paired it with a sportier dress that was a Ferrucci times adidas collab and you know i just wanted to show that you can wear kind of a dressier outfit but still be athletic in it because as you guys probably seen right now i'm still able to drill the ball <laughs> dribble the ball while wearing a dress that's right it is an athletic dress but hey just want to let you know i can do it in a dress and a skirt still too but uh, yeah, just, you know, wanted to give you guys that all together Adidas branding. So I paired that with the Yeezys and I think that that just goes great. Obviously it's got the same color combination on it with the white stripes and the black to it. And it's also kind of translucent see-through as well. So that's why I know you guys what you're thinking. Hope she's not wearing anything under that dress, but nope. I've got some biker shorts under there and a sports bra. I'm sorry. <laughs> not that kind of channel okay all right so that's where we'll draw the line but uh that was my second look now let's get into the third and final look i paired it with some rick owens cargo pants and oh my god i was gonna wear a shirt with that but it was like 90 degrees out so i just stayed in my sports bra <laughs> kept it sporty for you uh but uh, typically with my cargo pants i would obviously probably be wearing some kind of a basic t-shirt or tank top with this option but i wanted to give you guys pants option and so i brought out some nice dark cargo pants and it's a skinnier fit but you could definitely still wear this basketball shoe in more of a lifestyle setting so i wanted to have that option for you guys to see as well uh, but definitely for me personally, after playing basketball in these shoes and walking around in them, your feet get really warm in these shoes. And so I don't know that I want to walk around the city all day long in these shoes because I feel like you're going to sweat to death. Uh, but for basketball, I definitely think this could be a good option as long as you get that correct sizing. All right, now that we are done with the styling, we are gonna hop in to the session about Kanye and Gap. So let's get to it. Kanye West has always just done an impeccable job with marketing his product. I mean, even with the Yeezy Quantums, we've seen him and Kim wearing them, as well as Kanye also stopped by Elon Moss and was seen wearing the Quantums with him while Elon was actually as well wearing a pair of Yeezy 500s. So as far as being able to promote his brand, I feel like that's never been a downfall for him. And so for Gap to approach him and to create this new partnership, I think it was genius. And so I'm gonna kind of go in and talk about what's going on with that. So Yeezy, Kanye's company is going to be partnering with Gap Inc. and for their mainline brand, he is planning to basically introduce this new clothing line in the year 2021 in the first half. And he's going to basically be creating elevated basic pieces for men, women, as well as children, but at accessible price points. So of course, if you go online right now and you're looking at easy pieces, they're pretty expensive. And I don't think they're as accessible to different demographics to be able to afford to buy certain pieces. And so I think it's a great idea on Kanye's behalf to partake in partnering with a brand like Gap so that he can bring that price point down so that more people have access to it. And also I think it's very important to understand that this, you know, huge line of clothes are going to be launching next year. And so I think that Yeezys are going to even become more sought after because it's going to open an even bigger market for the brand and a lot more people who maybe don't know about Yeezys are actually going to learn about it because it's going to be in such a household name such as Gap. And so Gap actually signed a 10 year deal with him, which is pretty crazy. 10 years, you go Kanye, my God, I wanna send a 10 year deal Gap for modeling if I could. That would make my day. 
but he also has uh, in that contract within five years to decide whether or not he wants to continue to renew that, which is a great option that Gap has given him. But, you know, we've kind of seen the specific brand of Gap, not so much Banana Republic, uh, which is another part of the Gap Inc. Uh, but uh, we've seen it kind of dwindle and they've closed a lot of stores. So I think they needed to kind of think of a new, fresh, vibrant way to keep this brand alive and going. And so when you think about Kanye's background, it kind of just made sense as far as, you know, when he was a teenager, he talks about how in Chicago he actually worked at a Gap store. And in 2015, he was interviewed and discussed how he hoped to someday be the Steve Jobs of Gap. Because design is about form and function, solution, problem solving, it's not about politics. And the politics is what slows everything down. And that's what's amazing about what Steve Jobs did. He showed you what a direct vision could mean. And he had Johnny Ives in there, uh, you know, designing at a high skill. So he wasn't trying to go in and design the stuff itself. Or it's like, and that's what we're doing. And I'm, and I'm going to set up something out here in San Fran, you know, because I, I do I do love it out here, and I like the way people think, and I like the way people the, the, the communities work together. And uh, you know, I've I've been to I went I went to the Gap, and I said let me let me try to do something, and I couldn't get past the politics. And I'm like I'm telling you, I got it, I know it, I can do it. Give me a shot. You know, our first our first uh, night we sold eighty three thousand tour merch, you know, one night. So imagine if you take these type of thoughts and connect it with a corporation like The Gap. You know, it's not, it's not that I don't want to be a part. I do want to be a part. I just want a shot to take my perspective. Because a lot of people have an opinion, but I've been building a perspective. Which is interesting, right? That was five years ago, and here he is marching through those gap doors, ready to become the next Steve Jobs of the company. And, you know, it was always his dream. He's always expressed that he's wanted to be the head creative director of Gap. Well, he now has the chance to potentially break into, you know, becoming that key figure for this large company. All right. So now we're going to jump in and close off with resale of the shoes right now. They are retailing at $250. So going back to the All-Star game, those shoes that were giving out, given out during February, during that weekend, those shoes are currently reselling right now around $700. So if you got a pair of those in February, you are gonna do well if you are planning to resell those shoes. As far as these go, they're definitely not doing as well as they were not as limited, but you know, there's still a little bit of money to be made if you're trying to resell these, but if you're also trying to buy them, you're not gonna break the bank as well. They're going uh, average between $300 and $385. The larger sizes as we probably estimated would be doing better because this is a basketball shoe. So of course, larger sizes in this case are doing a bit better than the base sizes. Uh, but as I always mention, StockX prices are always continuously changing. So these could change depending on when you see this video. But other than that, if you are planning or interested in purchasing this specific silhouette, as always, I mentioned that I do have links in my description box below. So feel free to hit those links that will direct you to where you can buy these shoes. And as always, I like to let you know that it does help the channel when you use those links. So feel free to do that. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this unboxing. As always, I enjoy doing these videos for you guys. So don't forget, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, as well as give this video a thumbs up at the end. Hit that notification bell so that you are alerted as soon as we come out with a new video. And don't forget to leave me comments. Until next time, we'll see you all then.